Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. That the Mashanaka Bailas, Kormashur, Shirali, give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalawan Wahab, Labaki, Arshaw, Yashirali, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Baruch HaKadosh HaMaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. <clears throat> and um, there's another update on the coronavirus. All right, it's the, uh, it's the trending topic. And um, right now at the moment, it's the, uh, it's the most relevant thing going on in the news. And um, as you see on the screen, this may be it. All right, this, this may be that, that domino that's knocking down all the dominoes, um, the prophecy all right, that's getting all the rest of the prophecies to come into fruition, all right, and it is the year of prophecy, so that's what we should be looking for, and that's what we should be pushing, we should be pushing for plagues to destroy America, to destroy Babylon, all right, and, and the prophecies being, um, as it says in Jeremiah 28 and 8, it says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many kingdoms and great countries of war, of evil, and of pestilence. So pestilence is coming to this kingdom, to this country. All right, well, it's already here. All right, we're going to see it spread. All right, the coronavirus, over 50 cases of the coronavirus is already here in America. The CDC, we're going to get into these articles. All right, the CDC said that Americans should start um, preparing themselves for the coronavirus to spread and infect more people. And they said, not if it's going to spread, all right, but when, when it's going to spread. So it's inevitable, all right. And then these are all words, you know, these are all words that they're, this is out of their mouth, all right. It's going to happen. So, all right, Lord, Lord willing, it's all of the part of Lord's will. We're going to see this society collapse quickly, all right. And like Yahweh Shai say, he said, I beheld Satan cast down as lightning. That's how fast we're going to see this devil go down and we can very well be out of here. By the end of this year, man. All right. Or we can very well be in the kingdom chilling by next year. That's that's how real it is in the in the field, man. All right. That's how real it is out here. So this is um I was watching uh I really actually watched the video twice. I watched it earlier at work. Um and I was charged up off of it. I sent it to uh the brothers in my camp and then I was just getting a little workout in and figured I'd rewatch it to charge me up again for this lesson. Um, it's the, uh, the big bro out there in Cali, his, uh, old page, which it was on, it had a strike. It was on suspension, but I believe it's unsuspended now. GMS behold, I come quickly. Um, uh, but you can also subscribe to his new page, uh, GMS motivation and, uh, or insp GMS inspiration and motivation. Lord willing, I'll leave the link to this video in the, um, uh, in the description box. Matter of fact, I'll just... Turn it. GMS Inspiration and Motivation. It says prophetic news all about this pestilence coronavirus. The coronavirus. All right. So you can look that up. Check the brother's video out. Subscribe to uh, both of his pages. Um, and he plays a lot of clips of what's really going on. You got clips of Donald Trump saying, oh, everything is under control. You don't have to worry about anything in April time when it starts getting warmer out. These certain things like this die out, you know, and he's just America and Trump is just full of shit. All right. So this disease, this coronavirus is started off in China and now we're seeing it spread all over the world. All right. It's literally spreading all over. There's cases popping up all over the entire world. OK. And people are beginning to panic. All right. At least in these other countries, we're seeing people begin to panic. But here in America, a lot of people is oblivious to this virus, is, is oblivious to this uh, pandemic. And um, I'm a, I'm a uh, matter of fact, let's start off with a scripture. I'm going to start off with this scripture in the book of Second uh, Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 46 it says and thou asia that art partaker of the hope of babylon and art the glory of her person woe be unto thee thou wretch so it said thou asia china is the biggest country within asia and that's where this coronavirus 
uh, started, all right, in Wuhan, China. That's ground zero where the virus uh, 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 took place, where the, where, where the first... Um, the first case of the coronavirus took place in Wuhan, China, Asia, right? And it's being mentioned here in the prophecy of 2nd Ezra 15 chapter. Let's read it again. 2nd Ezra 15 and 46. And thou, Asia, that are partaker of the hope of Babylon, Babylon being America, all right? China, all right, the big, again, the biggest country uh, uh, in Asia is what? Following after the ways of uh, America, Babylon. It says, and art the glory of her person, woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thyself with daughters in whoredom, that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions. China is following, them, them Moabites, they're following right after Esau, Edom, and, and, and uh, um, his ways, man. All right. And there's going to be a judgment for that. It says that and the judgment is taking place now. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions. Therefore, saith Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence. All right. And who are we talking about? We're talking about Asia, specifically China in this instance. All right. So for right there, when it says pestilence, we might as well p replace it with coronavirus, man. All right. And this coronavirus, this pestilence is causing all those things. It's going to cause widowhood. People's husbands is dying. People's wives is dying. People's fathers and mothers, children is dying from this virus. Thousands of people is dying. And the death toll from this virus is just going to continue to skyrocket. All right. Because we're seeing it spread not only in China, but all across the world. All right. In Iran, you had... um. One of the uh, Iran uh, health officials, he was on TV. He was on TV trying to tell people not to worry about the virus. And he just tested positive for having the coronavirus. And while he was giving the speech, he had evident signs of being sick and being ill. All right. You can look that up. All right. So this shows you that this is no joke. This ain't no game. And Lord willing, this is that domino that's going to cause the collapse uh, uh, of this society. All right, this is going to bring in the rest of the prophecies, the rest of the plagues that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is sending. All right, that's going to uh, end this world and be the beginning of ours. This world has to end. All right, before the kingdom of heaven, this kingdom have to has to come to an end before the kingdom of heaven can be established here upon the earth. All right, it says in the book of Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, that Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Jacob and Esau can't reign at the same time. All right. Esau has to go down first before Jacob can rule. And when Jacob rules, everything is going to be perfect. Everything is going to be uh, uh, the whole world is going to be at peace. All right. And, and, and when Jacob rules, it's going to be head by Yahweh being the most high and the name is only begotten son Yahweh Shai. And under Yahweh Shai, it's going to be King David and the, uh, the rest of the elect, man. All right. That's what we're looking for. OK. In the book of Second Ezra, the fourth chapter, it says that what that the the evil the the evil. I'm gonna just grab it. This is Second Ezra, chapter four, in verse uh, twenty-seven. Um. I'll start at 28. The second address, chapter 4 and 28. It says, But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is, is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So this evil world has to, has to pass away, has to be destroyed. In order for a, a new heaven and a new earth to be established upon the planet, man. All right? A righteous rulership where in dwelleth all good things. In order for that to come, this evil, wicked world, this evil, wicked society has to be destroyed. And right now we're witnessing uh, uh, its downfall. This is the beginning of the end. All right. We've seen in the beginning, this is a year of prophecy and in the prophecy, America is to be America, a.k.a. Babylon is to be destroyed, man. It's written all throughout the prophets, all throughout Isaiah, all throughout Jeremiah. All right. Uh, uh, um, the, the, the Obadiah revelations. Yahweh Shai prophesied about it. All right. This place has to go down in order for a new kingdom and a new earth to uh, uh, to rule on the planet. All right. It's back in second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 
49. It says, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. All right. So not only is that going to be in Asia and China, right? But we see we see the same thing spreading all across the world and that's the judgment of the heavenly father Yahweh when the name was only begotten son Yahweh Shai. even if this disease was created in the lab and Esau Edom weaponized it that's still prophet still according to prophecy all right Esau Edom is is uh, uh the Lord's sword that's in the book of Psalms the 17th chapter the 13th verse King David said, deliver me to, from the wicked. I believe King David wrote that Psalms. He said, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right. Who is the wicked? Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Malachi 1 and 4 says that Esau, Edom is the border of wickedness. So this devil is just being used in the, in the book of uh, Isaiah, the 10th chapter. All right. This, this dude is just the axe. All right. He's just the weapon that the Lord is using. All right. So all the glory says, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord has not done it. Even if Esau, Edom, all right, created this uh, uh, disease in the lab or weaponized the coronavirus. That's all of the doing of the Lord. He's in control. He's he's the one that must the host of the battle. All right. So I'm going to read this one more time because we're seeing this is going to spread not only in China, but it's going to come here to America. Be in Babylon. Second, Ezra 15 and 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood. Poverty, famine, so poverty, or why is the poverty coming? Well, when we get into these articles, you're going to see because what? Be uh, 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 China is um, a big, China business is stopping because of this disease, all right? People is not going to work. People is not going to school. They're not trying to risk it, man. Also, a lot of countries is not trying to deal with China. Would uh, would deal with China. China is one of the biggest econ, the second biggest economy after America, and, and and it's completely shutting down. So that's affecting the whole entire world. China is one of the biggest export countries. All right, so it not. Uh, uh, is it not being business as usual that's affecting the world's economy, not just the city, the world, Craig? All right, the whole entire earth is feeling this. Okay, um, it says widowhood, poverty, famine, famine. People are starting to clean out the um the supermarkets and fear of this. Well, the CDC said it. They said uh, Americans should need to start uh preparing for for uh for this uh for for the coronavirus to spread all right they said you should really seek to stay in your house all right don't go to work see if you can do conference calls see if you can do any work from home tell the schools is there any way you can do internet teaching right this is what's going on so that's gonna cause that's gonna it's all it's all a domino effect okay it says swore people are fighting in the supermarkets right now all right not in italy there's videos in china and when it gets worse, people are going to not, it's going to go from a little scuffle to de to people killing each other, right? Because the world is going to go crazy. Everybody, the whole entire earth is going to go crazy, right? When Yahweh Shai came around, demons, they went crazy, all right? They start bugging out. It was the same thing. Yahweh Shai is getting closer and closer to this earth, so the world is going to lose it. The world is going to go crazy except for the elect, because the elect have what? The elect have faith. The elect have knowledge and wisdom and understanding. As it says in Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So as long as we uh, uh, have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and faith in Yahweh, we are going to remain stable while everybody else lose it. It says, Poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence. All right. To waste thy houses with destruction and death. So we see that already coming. This is a prophecy that's being fulfilled now, all right, and it's going to spread across the world, okay? So now um, let's get into some of these articles. Start off with this one on Al Jazeera. Oh, you can't. It's, it don't let me have it sideways. But this was updated 27 minutes ago. Coronavirus. Which, com which countries have confirmed cases? Cases of the coronavirus, which originated in the Chinese city of Wuhan, have been reported around the world. New cases of infection from a new coronavirus that emerged in the central, in the central Chinese city of Wuhan are being reported daily around the world. More than 2,800 people have died globally from, from COVID-19. All right, which is a uh, cor coronavirus uh, ID nineteen. Um, it says as the as the illness, as the illness 
is officially known, while more than 82,000 infections have been confirmed in dozens of countries, according to the World Health Organization. So this is officially a pandemic. All right. It's happening across the whole entire. world. It's not just local. It's not just in China. It's happening all across the world. All right. It says here are the countries that have so far confirmed cases of the new coronavirus. Afghanistan. Afghanistan confirmed its first case of the coronavirus on February 24th. The Minister of Public Health declared a state of emergency in the western province of Herat, which borders Iran. So now these countries are starting to call states of emergency, which is martial law. And, and so it's pretty much synonymous with coronavirus, which is another sign of. Of, of uh, the return of the Lord. All right. It's another sign of the return of the heavenly father, Yahweh, sending his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. In the book of Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, it says, when these things begin to come to pass, uh, or Salaki, it says, measured out of time diligently in itself. All right. When you see these things begin to come to pass, then you will know it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. All right. So the scripture that I wanted to get is Zechariah 14, 1. Zechariah chapter 14 and 1. It says, Behold, the day of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai coming. So the Lord is coming, man. No ands, no ifs, or buts about it. All right? He is coming. And when he comes, he's coming with vengeance. All right? He's coming to put, to, to, to spread, to uh, pour out his anger upon this world. Okay, his wrath upon this world. And we're hoping that we're pleasing him so that in his wrath he remembers mercy. It says, And thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. They're going to start taking people out of their houses. Have you been tested? Come with us. It's taking you off the streets, man. All right, taking you to, to camps, quarantine, quarantining you. All right. Verse two, it says, for I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle and the city shall be taken and the house is rifled and the women ravaged. So these are all signs. These are all things that's going to be happening when the heavenly father sends his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And that's the times that we're in. How do we know that? Well, the book of Matthew is the 24th chapter. How, how am I all the way? How am I 17 minutes in already? We just now get into the articles. All right, I don't know where that. I don't know where the other Bible app went. I'm gonna just grab it. Uh, Salakia. Bible Kusha, bear with me. I don't know what the hell. Let me read that again. I just lost my train of thought. This is back in uh, Zechariah 14 and verse 2. It says, For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished. All right? Women is going to be... These are all, again, these are all things that we're going to see take place as Yahweh Shai is making his return. And half of the city shall go forth into captivity, which is what? Quarantine. All right. And the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. All right. So you're not going to be able to leave the city. That's a quarantine. There's people in Wuhan, China. That's not leaving Wuhan, China anytime soon. All right. And that's going to happen here in the United States. I'm going to grab this quick precept in Second Ezra chapter 15. In verse uh, 14, it says, Second Andrews 15 and 14, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. In India, in India, New Delhi, right? You got people, you got people dying because of what? Uh, Hindus is killing Muslims out there. 
All right. And this is uproar. These different uproars happening around the world. It says, for there shall be sedition among men in invading one another. And when 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 there's no food in the supermarkets, people are going to start evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. So you're going to desire to go into another city and shall not be able. Why? Martial law. Why? Quarantines. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and great tribulation. So because of this coronavirus and because of the lack of bread that's going to happen because of this pestilence, people are going to lose their damn mind. They're going to start running into each other's houses and they're going to start killing each other with the sword, taking anything that they can find, destroying your house. All right, spoiling your goods, as it said, because of the lack of bread and before because of the tribulation. Okay, so let's go back into that uh, article. All right, it says Afghanistan. I'm gonna just start reading them off. All right, uh, Afghanistan, Algeria. These are all the places where the coronavirus have been um, has has been uh, detected. Okay, it says Italy, Australia, Austria. Bahrain, I've never even heard of that part, uh, that place. It says Belgium, Brazil, okay, that just happened yesterday. Uh, Cambodia, Cambodia confirmed its first case of coronavirus on January 27th. Minister of Health Mom Bunhang said the patient was a 60-year-old Chinese national in the coastal city of whatever the hell that word is. All right, so Cambodia, Canada. All right. China uh, and the number that's next to it is how many uh, cases. OK, so Canada has 12 cases. Con Canada has confirmed 12 cases of the coronavirus as of February 26. The majority in the province of Ontario and British Columbia, China. China has seven thousand seventy. 8,497 cases out there as of February 27th. And that was according to the prophecy. February 27th is today, by the way. All right. 350 uh, a.m. in the morning. OK. Um, and that's that's the prophecy that we read in Second Ezra 15 that the Lord will send pestilence upon Asia. All right. It says as of February 27th, a total of seven seventy eight thousand four hundred and ninety seven people in mainland China were confirmed as having been affected with the virus. Most of them in the central province of Hubei, at least two thousand seven hundred and forty four people have died, according to the WHO or HWO. It says the city of Macau has confirmed 10 cases. Hong Kong reported 81 confirmed cases, including two deaths. Croatia, three. Denmark, one. Egypt, one. So this is spreading, again, it's spreading all across the map, all across the globe. Um, Egypt's health minister reported its first confirmed, confirmed case of coronavirus on February 14th. It is the first known case in Africa. Officials said the infected person was a foreign national on and on February 19th, the World Health Organization. That's what uh, HWO stands for. It says say he had been discharged. Estonia, Finland. I'm going to just read down till we get to um, America. All right. Um, France has 18 people. That's infected. Georgia, at least Georgia, Russia. One person, Germany, 21 people, Greece, one person, India, three people, Iran, 141 people. Damn, 141 cases in Iran. Iran's health authorities reported on February 27th that the number of confirmed cases had risen to 141. The death toll rose to 22. Iraq, six. Italy, 447 as of February 27th, Italy had confirmed 447 cases, mostly centered in the country's north and 12 deaths. So people are dying from this. It's not no joke. It's not no game. All right. And the virus, is, it can hide itself. All right. The virus, it can hide itself and go undetected. Now, most, most of the uh, quarantines that's happening, 
uh, uh, for this coronavirus only lasts 15 days. So during that 15 day period of being quarantined, the virus, you can get tested and the virus can go undetected or symptoms can go undetected. All right. Because the because you you might not even start seeing symptoms until 20 days. All right. And you can do your research on these things that I'm saying. I'm not just pulling numbers out my ass. All right. You can do you can keep continue, continue to watch, man. Continue to watch at this uh, uh, at this virus, at this plague spreading. All right. Because this can very well be the beginning of the end of Esau Edom. OK, so let me get a precept on that. I'll just pull it on here. Psalms. This is a chapter in my last three videos. I've been in this chapter. Psalms chapter 91. Uh, Psalms chapter 91 and verse 5. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. We're not, be, we're not going to be afraid uh, 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 the arrow that fly by day, the missiles that, that's not for us. The Lord has not appointed us unto wrath, but to receive salvation through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Verse 6 it says, For the nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. All right, uh, uh, the pestilence that walk in darkness, you can't see it. All right, you can't detect it. So it's the same with this coronavirus. There's some people that don't show symptoms for 20 days. All right. Even when you do a CAT scan, in some instances, the virus will hide itself to where it can't be detected. That's the pestilence that walketh in darkness, right? And we don't have to fear that. Why? Because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is with us. Nor for the destruction that wasted that noonday, all right? Which is what? The nuclear missiles, okay? All right, so it says Japan. So Japan, damn, uh, Japan, 189 and 705. A total of 705 people on the quarantine Diamond Princess cruise ship docked at Yokohama and tested positive for the virus as of February 27th. Four elderly people who were on the ship have died. Uh, Japan does not include the people on board as part of its national. National tally in accordance with HWO guidance. The national tally is 189 as of February 27th, according uh, including four deaths. Kuwait 43, Lebanon 2, Malaysia 22, Nepal 1. Uh, this this is a long ass fucking list. I'm gonna be honest. All right, I was scrolling through this list, and I know America's on here. Uh, Norway, Oman, Pakistan, the Philippines, three, Romania, one, Russia, five, Singapore, uh, Singapore, 93. Okay, so it's spreading rapidly. South Korea, they got 1,766. Okay, 1,766. The top three places where this virus is at is uh, China, South Korea, and Italy. Okay, South Korea reported 171 new coronavirus cases on, t on February 27th, rising the total number of infections to 1,766, including 13 deaths. Spain, 12. Sri Lanka, 1. Sweden, 2. The second case of, uh, was registered on February 26. Switzerland, 1. Taiwan, 32. Thailand, 40. So that's all in Asia. All right, Japan had what seven hundred. Taiwan, ta uh, Taiwan had um, thirty two. Thailand forty. Again, this goes back to the prophecy that we read in Second Ezra fifteen. Woe to Asia. All right. Um, United Arab Emirat Emiratus got thirteen. United Kingdom thirteen. United States. Here we go. Vietnam was sixteen. So it says United uh, United States 60. The U.S. had confirmed 60 cases of the virus as of February 27th. All right. So this virus is over 60 cases in America because it is uh, or 60 cases of the coronavirus here in America. It says the cases include those evacuated from the Diamond Princess cruise ship in Japan. So clearly they're not trying to stop this virus from coming here to America. Otherwise, why would you allow those U.S. citizens to come back? If they if if they were quarantined, they should have stayed. They ass quarantine, man. 
So because you allowed, I believe it's like 40 something people uh, uh, that, that was um, infected to come back. That's just going to cause it to spread even more, man. All right. So this list. Oh, that's the end of the list. They had America pretty much at the bottom. All right. Next to Vietnam. So let's go to the next article. Showing you this a pandemic is spreading around the world. All right, so now now the fucking phone don't want to work. All right, we'll skip that one then. This is Kaiser Health News. Wednesday, this was uh, updated Wednesday, February 26, 2020. It says, not a question of if, but when. CDC warns Americans to prepare for disruptive coronavirus outbreak. Dr. Nancy Mezonier, Director of National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases, says cities and towns should plan to make measures to brace for and then contain the spread of the virus. While everyday Americans should begin thinking about working from home. Well, not everybody has that ability to work from home. So what about the people that can't work from home? All right. It says we are asking the American public to work with us to prepare in the ex- expectation that this could be that this could be bad. So businesses are going to end up shutting down. People are not going to risk their life for this. All right. Business is going to shut down. There's going to be no work for Egypt. It says Mezonier said the uh, the message, the messaging seems at odds. At odds with HWO, which has continued to emphasize that countries can curb an outbreak. In other news, the Uni- from the United States, San Francisco declares a state of emergency. A U.S. soldier tests positive for the virus. Racism continues to persist and more. All right. So San Francisco declares state of emergency. So it's going to spread and it's going to spread even more. It's going to spread even more. All right. Lord's will. And then, and then it's going to cause a rippling effect, a domino effect. All right. People uh, in in um, Italy, people are, are fighting, clearing out all the uh, all the uh, food that's on the shelves in the grocery stores. All that's going to come here to America, America, the quarantines in China. People are getting grabbed up off the streets. People are being uh, 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 burned alive. All right. <laughs> Still alive. All right, with the disease, they're not even fully dead, just thrown into the fire. All right, you and the brother, uh, the brother, um, the video that I was showing earlier, he shows you that in his video. Okay, it says the New York Times CDC officials warn of coronavirus outbreaks. It's not so much of a question of if this will happen anymore, but rather more a question of exactly when this will happen. All right, so this it's not even it's 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 going to happen. It's going to spread even more. Okay. Um, so this is just a, a lot of different. Um, a lot of different. Um, news places. Saying pretty much the same thing. Alright let's see if RT wants to cooperate. It says, this is RT News, published on February 27th, which is the day, 2020, the year of prophecy. Save lives, earn money. Chinese city, offer, Chinese city offers a thousand plus dollars in reward for self-reporting coronavirus symptoms in bid to quell outbreaks. So they're going to offer you money. To, uh, to quarantine yourself, man. To confess that, hey, I have the virus. I have symptoms. And they're going to give you some money, man. That's what they showed you on the purge, man. If you purge, we'll give you some money. But you got to get this chip inside of you. All right. So we're going to. I didn't, I haven't read this article, but let's check it out. It says, a city in China decided that a money giveaway would be the best motivation for people to report coronavirus symptoms to authorities as the death toll from the infection continues to grow. The new measure is set to incentivize residents to report their symptoms to authorities. The Disease Prevention Task Force of the city of Qianjiang 
uh, in central Hubei province said in a notice on Thursday, according to the scheme, those who diagnose is confirmed will be paid 10,000 yuan which is equivalent to $1,400, uh, 1400 U.S. dollars. Likewise, people, I and mean, what's the point, man? If you got the fucking disease, your ass going to end up dying anyway. Now, this is all bullshit, man. That's what it sounds like. But uh, a key point is that they're they're using in, uh, incentive, all right? So they're going to use incentive to get, get you to turn your ass in, just like how they're going to use incentive to get you to take the microchip, which is the mark of the beast. It says, likewise, people who cannot, this is what's called order ab, ab chaos, all right? When there's a lot of chaos going on, they try to bring order, all right? It says, likewise, it's a perfect time to present that microchip, all right? Within the microchip, you have the vaccine to keep you immune from the virus, and that would be the new way to buy and sell, according to the prophecy. It says, likewise, people who cannot be immediately ruled out as having contracted the disease will be given a thousand yuan, which is like on to, which is equivalent to one hundred and forty two dollars, uh, one hundred and forty two U.S. dollars. It says, while those deemed to be suspected cases will be paid two thousand yuan, um, the scheme will be affected through March 2nd. All right. So that's pretty much the point on that. But let's see what that California and this I'm, I'm just, you know, rolling in the spirit. This is the trending topic. California confirms first possible community first possible community transmission of coronavirus as China reports fewest new fatalities in a month. <clears throat> this is what's going on in what? Les Lesbos riots. Alright. That was uh, another prophecy that we read. Uproars of the people, sedition among men. Invading one another. This dude breaking into someone's shit. Alright, so there's prophecy going on all around the world. At least 30 killed, 250 plus wounded in Delhi riots over citizenship law as UN chief urges maximum restraint. It's going down all across the globe. All right, so I'll probably just leave it there. We're already 30 se 36 minutes in. Weaponizing the coronavirus. Why U.S. politicians and media suddenly care? Hint, it's about getting Trump. Let's see what this is. February 26, 2020. Trump care makes us sick. <laughs> that devil look like he has the coronavirus. It says, after weeks of denouncing conspiracy theories about the spread of the coronavirus, U.S. media and Democrats are suddenly concerned, accusing President Donald Trump of not doing enough to stop it. Why? Because they don't want to stop it. They want it to come here to America. They want it to spread. They have an agenda, okay? They have an agenda to what? To depopulate the earth, all right? And to bring in that microchip. That microchip is a cornerstone of their new world order. So this is all playing, uh, um, this, is, uh, this is all playing into their uh plan to have a new world order it says how about a political quarantine while over 2,000 people have died from this covid 19 novel coronavirus almost all in china so far and the contagion has spread to europe and the middle east in recent day in recent days there has been no spike in the number of u.s cases according to the centers for disease control and prevention cdc a total of 59 americans have tested positive for the bug most of them among the those uh, repatriated from the diamond princess cruise why would you bring them back here if they was if all the people majority of the people that have contracted the coronavirus here in america was off what well, came from a, a cruise ship that was quarantined i have recently been repatriated why would you allow them back into the country if you were trying to stop this disease from spreading because you're not trying to stop the disease from spreading. The CDC said not if, but when it happens. It's inevitable at this point, And they're just warning U.S. citizens to prepare for this. Right? It says, yet the newest talking points pushed by Democrats and media, never Trumpers alike, would have Americans believe that the virus is not contained. That Trump was, that uh, Trump has gutted the government's ability to respond to it. And his administration doesn't know what it's doing. But, yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, 
we're just gonna keep our eye out for this um keep our eye out on this and uh you probably be seeing me do more lessons lord willing through the spirit on this topic um so yeah I, i'll finish it off with a scripture We'll finish it off with the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. What happened in the beginning of this, um, in the, in the beginning of this so-called year? You had uh, Donald Trump. He, he ordered a strike on um, the top general uh of iran all right that's 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 war and according to ezekiel the 38th chapter iran aka persia being ally to russia aka gog and magog is going to go to war with america being babylon all right so that's that's the wars okay verse 7 it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places and we're seeing all of that come to pass all these are the beginning of sorrow. So this is what signs of the Lord's return. Matthew chapter 24 and 3, it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And then we just named all those different signs. All right? Wars, rumors of wars, kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. Famines, pestilence, earthquakes, and diverse places. We've seen all those things come to pass. So Yahweh Shai signs at the end. So the end of the, this world is ending, and Yahweh Shai is on his way back. Having that said, Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Chachadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Chachadash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And Shalom Wahabla Baki or Shoya Shurala being peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom Akim, brothers keep on pushing. Stay faithful. Stay diligent. Salvation draw off nigh. Redemption nearer than we believe. Shalom.